first time I saw him on the record, I, it was obvious that he knew his stuff. He was using language, of course, at that point that I, I'd never heard all the science and whatnot. It was kind of fun to watch. It was intriguing. So Mike is courageous. Mike is tenacious. There's not a de and, a, and there's not a detail that he misses. He's very dedicated to his client, to his family. Generous. But he's also shown the desire and the actual ability to get better. And uh, that's um, very few people can do that. He's established himself and distinguished himself in an area of law in regards to OWI that makes him one of the top people in the state. He takes on cases and fights for clients that a lot of people would not. He's not afraid to stand up for clients in court and in the public eye. He is a fighter and fearless. He's a great lawyer and an even better friend. I first met Mike when he was a reporter. Uh, the news director at Channel 10 called me because my good friend Brian Sterling, who was at Channel 10, got hired at Channel 8, where he's worked, I think, now for nearly 20 years. So she asked me if I wanted to replace him. I had already done a demo tape for Channel 10 and I think for Channel 6 too. So I went to work almost, you know, right out of the blue for, uh, for Channel 10. So the ethics board must complete its work by the end of next month or some of the charges will be thrown out. The board continues to press on. Among the volunteers will be pilots who will fly helicopters like this Huey. For one pilot, his biggest concern, the Haitian geography. Tomorrow will be the last time that he brings his team to right about here, his eyes glinting in the sun. They'll make that sprint for the sideline with the band playing and the crowd cheering. And then it'll be up to someone else to carry on the tradition here in Spartan Stadium. At Michigan State University, at the Capitol, Mike Nichols, News 10. I started uh, practicing general um, interest and, and a fair amount of criminal defense but I really didn't know anything about the criminal law until on April 3rd of 2000, I went to work for Frank Reynolds at the Reynolds Law Firm. Um, I watched a lot of cases that both Frank Reynolds and Hugh Clark, Red McIntyre, uh, and some others uh, that they did, um, and, and just incredible how effective they were. Um, Hugh Clark, now Judge Clark, was one of the best cross-examiners I'd, I'd ever seen. Um, things did not work out at the Reynolds Law Firm after five years um, I had to leave and I went to work uh, as an of counsel attorney to another uh, small law firm the Gallagher law firm and it was great um, but I met my wife now Wendy at that point in time and we talked about you know if you really want to um, be successful you have to number one own a building and Wendy and I made that decision to open up our law practice and build a building uh, so that we could try to, to have more control. I think it's a commitment that we're not going to just take whatever is being offered by the other side when you're in a litigation case. And, and that goes for criminal law or civil law, divorce practice, a contract dispute. If you want to take that shot and put your best foot forward in court, then that's what we do. And, and it's a lot of behind the scenes continuing legal education, time at conferences away from your practice and sometimes your family and your personal life to get there, to try to get there and build up your skill and your confidence and your, as Vince Lombardi put it, your luck. If he's not working, he is thinking about work. I've asked him many times throughout the years when he even finds time to sleep. I knew Leo Farhat. He was a friend of mine, he was a neighbor of mine, and he would be truly pleased uh, that Mike Nichols is, is the recipient of the award that holds his name. Of course, I meant every vowel and consonant that I wrote in that nomination. It was very easy. I'm glad I had the opportunity. Congratulations, they chose the right person. Congratulations, Mike. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Mike. Now everyone who knows you know this is a long time coming, whether it was this year or the next. Mike, you're a great lawyer, you're a hell of a great guy, and you're a fantastic friend. We're all so proud of you. No one deserves this award more than you do, and we wish you all the best in every single thing that you do.